Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will create a repository for the Terraform project and clone the repository on our computer. You can use any Terraform project you have to complete this lecture. Basically, what we want to accomplish in this project is we want to create a code build job that will automatically apply our Terraform script anytime we make a commit into the GitHub repository. So you can use any Terraform project you have in your account to complete this lecture. But if you don't have any Terraform project in your account, I will give you the Terraform file you can use to complete this project. To start, we will create a repository in our GitHub account. So select the home page on your GitHub account. On the home page, click New. Then give the repository a name. I'll call this repository Launch EC2 Instance. Once you've given the repository a name, select private, then scroll down. Under initialize repository with, click add a readme file. Under add.gitignore, select this and type Terraform in here. Once you type Terraform, select Terraform, then click create repository. Once you have created the repository, I want you to add these two files for our Terraform project into the repository we just created. I will include the download link for this file in this video's description. Once you have downloaded the file and unzip it, what you will do is click add file here and select upload files. Then you will select these two files and I'm just going to drag this here. Once you select the two files, click and drag them and drop them here. When you drag and drop the files here, it will add them here. You can see the ec2.tf and the installtechmax.sh. Once you can see the files here, scroll down and click commit changes. There you go. We have successfully added the two files into the repository we just created. Once you have added the two files into the repository, the next thing I want you to do is clone the repository to your computer. To clone the repository, I'm going to select the drop down on that code and make sure you are on the SSH tab. Then click this box to copy the address. Once you have copied the address, open the command prompt on your computer. In the command prompt, the first thing you will do is change to the directory on your computer where you want to clone this repository. For example, in my case, I want to clone the repository on my desktop. So the first thing I will do is change to my desktop in the command prompt. To change to my desktop, I'll type cd space desktop. Once I type cd space desktop, I'll press enter. And I've changed my directory into the desktop. Then the next thing I will do is type git clone and paste the address I copied to clone that repository on my desktop. So I'll move this to the side so you can see what's going on. I'm going to type git clone. Once you type git clone, paste the address next to it. This is the command you will use to clone the repository on your computer. So the next thing I will do is press enter and watch what happens on my desktop. There you go. It has successfully cloned the repository on my computer and you can see it here. If I double click to open it, you can see all the files we have in the repository are also here. This is how you create a repository and clone the repository to your computer. One thing I want you to understand is the Terraform file that I provided to you that we add into this repository. This is a Terraform file that will launch an EC2 instance and install the HTML website on it. We worked on this project in this lecture. I will include the link in this video's description. So that's one thing I want you to understand. And like I said, if you already have a Terraform project you want to use, create a repository for that project in GitHub, then clone that repository to your computer. That is what I want you to complete in this step. If you have any question or there's any part of this lecture you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.